Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends, Wooden Railway Stories, Episode 23, Coldy and the Log Cutter. On the island of Sodor, there is a log cutter. What it does is what the name says, it cuts logs. What engines will do is they'll come up to the log cutter, put the car right there, move back, and watch the magic work as the log cutter rolls the log down, and then we see the log cut, waiting for road vehicles to come and take it away. Certain engines, like Peter Sam, Rusty, and Sir Handel, usually do this job. Other engines, like Coldy, spend their days taking passengers to and fro across the island of Sodor on the narrow gauge railway. Unfortunately, everything on the island of Sodor doesn't go as it's supposed to, and today was one of those days. Peter Sam was not feeling well. He had to take the sawmill log car and take it to the sawmill log cutter in five minutes, but he hadn't even left the shed. Are you going to be able to make it? asked Coley. I don't know, said Peter Sam. Not feeling that great. It's okay, said Ivo Hugh. I can take it. Yeah, but you have an important train to pull today. So, I, I can still take it. I can find time. Hey, look, there's Sir Topham Hat. We'll see what he's going to say. And indeed it was Sir Topham Hat. He soon got out of his car. Peter Sam, said Sir Topham Hat, as we can obviously tell, you are not doing well. And unfortunately, Rusty and Sir Handel are doing other work at this time. Ivo Hugh, as much as I would love for you to take it, you have an important train today that I have to have you take. And with that, we have one engine left. Coldy, could you take it? But, but sir, I've never taken a load like that before. It's always a first for something, right? I guess, but I've never done it before. But you've already taken Catherine and the passengers today, so you have nothing to do today. Coldy, we need you to do this. Uh, all, all right, sir, said Coldy. You must go to the docks. Colin will tell you everything. Okay, said Coldy, and Sir Topham Hat got into his car and left. Good luck, Coldy, said Sir Topham Hat, and he soon drove away. Well, I'd better get going. Good luck, said Peter Sam. It's easy, trust me. Okay, said Coldy and he left the shed shaking. Coldy was nervous and didn't think he could do it. I'll be able to do it, he said to himself. Or will I? I don't think I'll be able to do it. Oh great, there's the docks. And there's a car. Oh no. He soon pulled up to the car. Good day, Colin. Good day to you too, Coldy. Not used to seeing you here. For sure. All I come here is occasionally to drop off passengers. I know, I never see you other than for that. But apparently you're seeing me for something else today. Yeah, you're supposed to take this sawmill log car. Do you even know how you're supposed to do it? I really have no clue. Well, said Colin, if you look over there, you can see the sawmill log car company. You can just go up there and put the car there and watch it go. It's that easy? That easy, I could do it, but you can't. I know, but if I was on those rails, I'd be able to do it easily. Trust me on this one, said Colin. Ah, <sighs> I guess I'll trust you. Are you sure it's easy? Oh, it's easy. Okay, said Coldy. I better get going. I'll see you later. See you later, too, said Colin. And they both ended their conversation as Coldy took the sawmill law car. I can do this, he said to himself. Better get going. He soon drove by an area he usually doesn't go by. Hmm. So that's where we get our milk from those cows. Moo, they said. Ah, oh, whatever. Not now. He pushed the sawmill log car. Huh. This is a lot heavier than Catherine is. Whew, there I am. And there he was. In front of him was the sawmill log company. He said to himself, I don't know if I can do this. I see that little green thing Colin was talking about to me earlier. Guess I just put it by there. Ah, oh, let's go, he said. And he soon puffed. And I uncouple it, right? There we go, said Coldy. Ready to go, said the workmen. And they soon did. They pulled the lever, and Coldy was the one that moved. Ah, help! Help, said Coldy. Stop this at once. Oh no, said the workman. Let's lower Coldy down. Luckily, Coldy was not injured at all. Wha what just happened, said Coldy. 
The workman told him. But nobody told me I wasn't supposed to go on to it. I was told I was supposed to go buy it. I'm pretty sure Colin said you were supposed to put the red car on it. Ah, <sighs> He's probably right. He soon coupled up and moved the sawmill log there. Ah, let's watch this magic work. Whoa, said Cody. That's amazing. It is, said the workman. Here's your car back. Cody soon coupled up. Hey, can can I watch the end of this? Sure, watch. It's not that exciting, but whatever. Whoa, that's amazing," said Cody. I better go back though. See you, workman. See you, Cody. Said Cody. I'm finally done with this job. He put the sawmill log car into a siding. Ha! Huh, let's put it over here," said Cody. There you go, Colin. I don't know when you'll need it next. He went to go on to the other line. Oh, whoa. What just happened, said Coldy. That's a good question. I don't know. What what happened to you? Well, I was on that green thing, and bam. I didn't know I was supposed, wasn't was supposed to be on it. I thought that the log car had to be close to it, not on it. Whoa, said Colin. That's where you messed up. I'd better go get Victor. I'll be back, said Sir Topham Head, and he went to go find Victor. Coldy was placed back on the track, and Sir Topham Head and Victor came. Victor looked but in the front of Coldy, on one side of Coldy, behind Coldy, and on the other side of Coldy. He soon gave the results. Well, said Victor, there's some dents and stuff on Coldy's wheels. What does that mean? It means the more he goes around on these tracks, the more he's going to fall off. And the more he does that, the worse the dents are going to be. So what's going to happen? You're going to have to send him in. Send him in? Just great. How long will it be? It could be two weeks. It could be two months. Depends on the damage by the time he gets there. I recommend you sending Coley ASAP. Just great, said Sir Topham Hat. Ah, can you take Coley away and... Put him in the sheds or something? Sure, said Victor. Just great, said Coldy. Now was gonna take Catherine. Uh, we'll find a suitable replacement, Coldy, said Sir Topham Hat. Uh, until then, I wish you the best of luck and I hope you get better. Thanks, sir, said Coldy, and he went on. Ah, oh, shoot, said Coldy. I fell off again. Oh, no, said Victor. Oh, no, said Sir Topham Hat, and he looked at his wallet. Just great, said Sir Topham Hatton.